call has gone out for us to update as many of our friends as possible as to the ongoing Fukushima issue. So all my people in the choir that I'm preaching to you, post your videos. Fukushima on the titles. Help out Kevin Blanche and let him know that you're pissed off too. And uh, we need to get a hold of this situation. And if that means getting all of our nuclear debris here in the United States into Yucca Mountain, uh, where we've spent billions and billions of dollars over the last few decades um, to develop this site. And the continued threat, which uh, over a year and a half later has lessened in uh, no way whatsoever. Nothing has changed there. In fact, the dangers have increased. While speaking to Swiss lawmakers last month, Japan's former ambassador to Switzerland, Mitsui Murata, warned that if the building housing reactor 4 at that plant at Fukushima were to collapse, as many officials fear might happen, it would lead to a global catastrophe like the world has never seen before. Emissions are still being released into the atmosphere and drifting over toward the United States. This is your three-minute radiation fallout forecast for Thursday, May 24th, 2012. I'm particularly concerned living on the West Coast, and now we've got all of the debris coming in uh, in addition. The Fukushima issue is far from over, and the threat can only get worse if certain things occur warned that if the building housing reactor 4 were to collapse, as many officials fear might happen. While the mainstream media fails to report much on this. But all these weeks later, the crisis is far from over. The crippled Fukushima nuclear plant is still leaking. Thanks for joining us. Do they have control of the situation at the site? No. It's still a ticking time bomb. Americans think this crisis is over, or that some even think that maybe it's solved or it's contained. It's, it's not. We're, what's happening right now? In the last two weeks, everything we knew about that accident has been turned upside down. We were told three partial meltdowns, don't worry about it. Now we know it was 100% core melt in all three reactors. The uh, YouTube alternatives continue to put out reliable and believable information. To explode at its leaders, in the news, residents block radioactive debris delivery. Only two towns support restart of OI nuclear power plant. Acceptance has failed. Actor says help from outside the country is needed. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe and listen to Nuked Radio on Tuesdays and Thursdays from noon to 1 Eastern Standard Time to get up to speed on Fukushima and all things nuclear. Okay, now it's time to talk about rain. I believe it was Dr. Caldecott who said one of the reasons people aren't as concerned as they should be about this is that they look up in the sky and they don't see anything, they don't smell anything, they assume everything's fine and they forget about it. However, if this radioactive rain were actually, say, oil instead, and we looked up in the sky and we saw these big black clouds coming towards us that started raining down big drops of gooey oil, we'd be pretty upset, and we would be on the phones to our congressperson immediately. Now, what we're actually getting in terms of radiation is ten times worse than mere oil. <laughs> While many of my YouTube friends and resources are reporting on the dangers of precipitation across the country, one thing that they all shy away from is the more persistent aspects of this. Nobody wants to be called a fear monger, so allow me. Now, here's the situation. When the, as most of you remember from your uh, junior high, high school science class, when water droplets in the air that evaporated from the ocean surface get up into cooler air in the upper atmosphere and they begin to condense, they will find a particulate in the air, uh, some piece of dust or whatever in the air, uh, and it's the whatever we're concerned about, uh, be it a radioactive particle, 
and the water vapor will glob onto that particle and form around it a raindrop, which when it becomes heavy enough will fall down to the earth. And so if you're out riding your bike in the rain or whatever, and you have this uh, rain falling on you that's contaminated, um, it's going to get on you in your clothes and, and, and on your bike and whatever. What these sources are not really discussing is that after the water that falls on the ground, say, on the street, out in front of your house, the water evaporates. Well, what's left behind are the particles. Now, if that particle sits there, it's a, it, all of these particles are sitting time bombs. They're going to release a radioactive particle at some time between now and, depending on the particle, uh, 100 years, 300 years, however long the radioactive life of these particles are, and they vary from uh, um, molecule or atom to atom. Now, when you fission uranium, 200 new elements are formed, all of which are much more poisonous to the body than the original uranium. Although uranium is pretty poisonous, America used it in Fallujah and Baghdad, and in Fallujah, 80% of the babies being born are grossly deformed. They're being born without brains, single eyes, no arms, the doctors have told the women to stop having babies. The incidence of childhood cancer has gone up about 12 times. So it sits there, and if you walk by when it, it happens to go off, depending on, again, the type of radiation released, it's either going to stop at your clothing, or if it's a gamma radiation, it's going to go right through that clothing and right through your body, potentially causing cellular damage. The worst scenario is that a car goes by, that dust gets stirred up, and you happen to be riding your bike along there, and you breathe in that dust. Now you have that particle inside of you, and so when it goes off, it doesn't really matter what kind of uh, particle it releases, it's going to do some damage, period. By ionizing radiation, we mean radiation with sufficiently high energy to tear off electrons from atoms. Such radiation is emitted with the decay of radioactive nuclei, which may occur during nuclear reactions in the sun or a nuclear reactor. Alpha radiation is quickly blocked when it hits matter. Even a sheet of paper or human skin is enough to stop alpha radiation completely. It travels no more than a few centimeters in air. Beta radiation, made up of electrons, have a lower mass than those particles that make up alpha radiation. Beta radiation generally has a much longer range, but glasses and thick clothing are enough to block it completely. Gamma rays and X-rays are electromagnetic radiation similar to radio waves and visible light, but with much shorter wavelength and thus higher energy. Gamma rays are produced by the rearrangement of particles in the atomic nuclei and X-rays, by the deceleration of charged particles or the transition of electrons in atoms. Gamma rays usually have higher energy than X-rays and both have a much greater ability to penetrate matter than alpha and beta radiation. Gamma rays are only blocked to a minimal extent by the human body and their speed only decreases insignificantly when traveling through air. A five to 10 centimeter sheet of lead or concrete layer of 50 to 75 centimeters would only reduce gamma radiation by 1,000 of its original value. That particle could fall on a grassy field that a cow eats and uh, accumulates a higher concentration of radioactive particles in its um, milk. Radiation in milk, I'm David Beenick. Low levels of radiation have been detected in California milk. You drink that particle goes off again. If it's inside of your body when it goes off, it's going to cause damage no matter what kind of particle it is. So every time we get a rain, we get more particles being distributed. So over time, we're just getting we laid with layer upon layer of then these particles that are accumulating happen. all around us. In the fueling, the cooling pools are many times you know, like uh, 10 to 20 times more radiation than in each reactor core. In each reactor core is as much long-lived radiation as that produced by a thousand Hiroshima-sized bombs. 
we are dealing with diabolical energy. E equals mc squared. It's the energy that blows up nuclear bombs. Einstein said, nuclear power is a hell of a way to boil water because that is all nuclear power is used for, to boil water through the massive heat, turn it into steam, turn a turbine which generates electricity. And I mean that. We got to get the message out, people. We got now, to. We have no you start doors. playing a numbers game, we and they win. can raise the safety level of these as many times as they want. But any amount of radioactive particles, uh, particularly if they're inside of your body, are going to do damage. And if you accumulate enough cellular damage, you're going to get cancer. So the Fukushima issue still needs to be taken very seriously. There needs to be some serious rallying around our uh, elected representatives in order to bring this thing to a safe conclusion and to fully review our own uh, national stance on nuclear energy. Thank you. The, oce the oceanic contamination is obviously out of hand. Senator Wydell was not allowed near reactor number one, hence he has no comments or knowledge of the situation. Although I think of him as attempting to wake up the masses, I feel it is time you all woke up to the China syndrome occurring all year.